It's a film that's about the Egyptian Revolution and follows the stories of three women and their experience of what happened during the Arab Spring up until today and focuses largely on one woman and her story. And it's kind of, we thought we were starting a film about triumph, but we ended up making a film about protracted struggle because so much has changed there in the last couple of years. I definitely knew that I wanted to talk to women who had been involved in the revolution. You know, there they definitely called, they didn't call it the Arab Spring, it was re the revolutions. And I wanted to um, meet people who had been involved and who had long history. I probably met about 70 women and narrowed it down to the three women in Egypt that we focused on, and then a diff uh, one woman from Bahrain, one woman from Tunisia, a woman from Yemen, from Libya, uh, and Syria. It's got to be someone whose story um, both is representative of what happened to a lot of people and who can tell the story and who is kind of is able to communicate with, with an audience. So I feel like casting, even though it's a documentary, I feel like casting is like one of the most important things. The main character of our film was arrested in um, 2011 for going to a demonstration. And she had charges against her stemming from that that continued to, her case got postponed and postponed and postponed. So we followed her case. And it, it, through that, we were able to follow all the different ups and downs and ins and outs of the Egyptian Revolution. People had a lot of animosity about the way that they were portrayed. And women had had a lot of animosity for the way that they were portrayed because they felt that a lot of, in Western media, they were portrayed as like victims and all oh, those poor ladies and that they didn't have agency of their own. There was really a feeling that Western journalists had come and ripped them off and had ripped their story off and, what, and, that, they were, and that people were doing it for their own glory and not really to represent um, what was going on. I think I got their trust by going back and going back and going back and going back and just being there. It really, it really took a long time. It was great for me that we showed it to Egyptians and to the people that were in the film, and they felt like it was a completely accurate portrayal of what their experience was, and they were really pleased with it. It changed incredibly from what we thought we were going to do when we started. I think it's a pretty common thing for documentary filmmakers to start one place and end up someplace else.